what's up guys welcome back to another flea market grab video if you guys enjoy these videos please hit that like button subscribe down below if you're not already if you want to see more and drop a comment i try to respond to all the comments i can i'm actually on my way to the flea market right now so let's go see what we can find this week are these legit right now All right, guys, I'm just now leaving the flea market. Um, I picked up those Oreo 4s for $5. And literally right here at this first booth, when you first walk in, is where I found these Josh Howard PE8s. Now, I don't know if they're legit, but they feel really good like the quality on these is really good so i don't know if they even made fakes of these but these just seem too good to be fakes and there's the tag i don't know maybe somebody that's more knowledgeable can let me know but somebody was telling me that the fakes don't have that sample tag on them so if i just got a real pair of josh howard uh pe8s for twenty dollars then I'm pretty happy and this is probably going to be the best find in my channel's history, honestly. But you guys let me know. They're still in really good shape too. This one has a little light scratching on it. But I don't know, that's just crazy. But today's Tuesday, so um, I'm probably going to hold off on this footage and put it in this weekend's video. So uh, let's go to that flea market and hopefully we find some good stuff. play indoor soccer <laughs> And 60 is the lowest you go on these? 60 is the lowest on these? Yeah. Oh, they're in seven ones. I was gonna say I've never seen these before. Yeah, 
What's up guys, welcome back to another flea market grab video. If you like these videos, please hit that like button. It lets me know, drop a comment and subscribe. Um, so let me go ahead and jump into what I found this week. So the first thing I actually found, I paid 10 bucks for this, which is probably a little bit on the pricey side, but it's a copy of Mario Kart Wii. Grab this because it's complete and it's in really good shape. Um, this is also from a friend of mine who sells there. So I went ahead and scooped this up. Uh, it's probably worth about 20 bucks. So I would have liked to get it a little bit less than 10, but I went ahead and grabbed it for $10. All right, so I have three pairs of shoes to show you guys. Um, so let me go ahead and show you the first pair. So the first pair is actually this pair of Oreo fours right here. These are a size six Y. They are a little bit beat up, but they're not too beat. And I only ended up paying only $5 for them, which is why I went ahead and grabbed them. Overall, they're okay. There's no cracking on the midsole or nothing like that. The only issue is they have some light scratching on the toe. And also the back like heel tab is like bent down. I don't know how I can get this to go back up, <laughs> but I went ahead and grabbed those for only $5. Also for $5, I forgot I even picked this up. It's a Indigo GameCube control, which I'm always gonna grab these because these, these always go for like 20 to $25. So for five bucks, I went ahead and grabbed that, especially with the new Smash Bros on the horizon. Next for $37, I picked up a really good pair of True Blue threes, which I don't know how many this makes of this shoe that I found, but these are still in really good shape, still really clean. And these are the newer ones. You got the Nike Air on the back, no paint cracking at all. Well, a little bit right there on the white in the back. There's the inside of the shoe. Still very clean on the inside as well. These are a size 11. Here is the other one. This is a shoe that was on my radar for the longest time until I finally got my pair, which is back here behind me. I don't even know if you can see, but these would be too big for me anyway, even if I did want to keep them. So these are going uh, size 11 and I paid $37 for them. Next up, we have one of my best finds, if not my best finds ever. Um, I thought for sure these were fake. And that is the Josh Howard Air Jordan 8 PE. So I know I didn't sound very excited in the video, but I thought for sure these were fake. I thought there was no way these were gonna be legit until I started like, I actually picked them up and started like filling the materials. And I thought these were way too good quality to be fake. After looking at the tag and everything, I, that's when I realized that these were legit and I had to pick these up. So I ended up only paying $20 for these, which is crazy. After the after I posted these on my Instagram and everything, I started getting offers for like $800 to $1,000. So I don't really know what the value is on these but it doesn't really matter what the value is because I don't plan on getting rid of these I'm actually gonna keep these and display them here behind me somehow I'm gonna get something to put them in um, the people who did offer me money like for the most part they were cool uh, they understood why I wanted to keep them uh, and then you know they were saying like you know congrats on the find um, awesome find and all that stuff but there was a few people that were in my inbox that were really upset that I didn't want to sell them and I don't know why I basically got called stupid for not taking offers that I was getting I had people tell me well they're probably fake anyway like just a bunch of negativity and I don't understand why it's not like if I did sell them that they were gonna get a percentage of what I sold them for so why does it matter and being a Dallas Mavericks fan this is one of those shoes that I probably will never come across again, especially for $20. So why would I wanna get rid of these, honestly? I know a lot of people who do this, they're in it for resale or resale only. Me, personally, I'm a collector first. So if I find something that I like, I'm gonna keep it. And I try to tell people that, but they just couldn't get it through their head why I didn't wanna accept the money that I was getting offered. Which, if you're a reseller first, that's cool. Uh, nothing against that like I resell too the stuff that I don't want to keep for myself but the whole reason why I started thrifting in the first place was for the fine stuff for my personal collection and the whole reselling stuff just came along with it because I was finding stuff that I personally didn't like but I knew other people like and that's why I have like the sneaker collection that I have that's why I have the video game collection that I have but I don't know I just got so much negativity off of this shoe and I, don't, I really just don't know why but I don't really care because like I said I'm keeping these anyway being a Mavericks fan um, the cool thing about these also is that Josh Howard actually liked my post on Instagram about them. So I'm probably going to be cleaning these up really good and then getting like a display box or something like that to put them in behind me. So you'll probably be seeing these in future videos in the background, but I don't know. It's just crazy finding these for only $20. Really cool shoe overall. You have like that navy blue and silver for the Dallas Mavericks and you got J-Ho 5 for Josh Howard number five. There's the tag, so some of you experts can let me know. It's still super clean overall, which makes it even better. Maybe some of you guys out there can let me know like a value 
on these um, in the ballpark. But like I said, I'm keeping these anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So those are my flea market pickups for this week, guys. I'm really happy on those eights. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you guys next week with another one. So, later.